Hello and welcome back super mums. In today's video we're going to be looking at family traditions and how they can benefit many areas of family life. <music> please make sure you are liking, sharing and subscribing so we can help more mums enjoy their motherhood. Having a strong family bond is really magical, but it can feel a little bit like a far-fetched dream for so many, particularly if you didn't have it as a child. A lot of this can come from trust and openness and everyone knowing where they stand in the sort of like family dynamics. But I've also found that building in traditions that are special to your own little family can really help to create that magical family bond of your own. Big event traditions are the best place to start with these. So like Christmas, Easter and birthdays. What are the key memories you want to take away from these special events? So Christmas, we have a big Christmas Eve chest with a big quilt in it that I made. It goes on our bed at the moment. It'll go on my daughter's bed when she's bigger that we can do our Christmas Eve book underneath it. We have The Night Before Christmas, which was a book my mum read to us and then my mum read to my sister's kids before she passed away. So that's got really special memories. We bought my daughter a really special copy her first Christmas and that goes in the chest as well. We watched the Snowman DVD while having like Christmassy nibbles on Christmas Eve with the rest of the family. So she's now got a snowman from the Bear Factory. Um, uh, that the Christmas elf bought her. So she's got that in there. So we've got this whole magical chest. And this year, this past year, we had everything in it all through December and that didn't work very well. So the box is gonna stay empty and magically the Christmas elf is gonna fill it up on Christmas Eve. And it's gonna be whole part of we want to do elf on the shelf because we, I love Christmas, I love all the Christmas stuff. So there's lots of things with Christmas we're doing. Advent calendar. I hate plastic, I hate waste, I hate sugary rubbish. I like, I'm gonna have some chocolate, it's gonna be really good chocolate. So the calendar thing was already on my mind, like from first Christmas. So I have made her these little sacks with the numbers on as her advent calendar and we put our Christmas tree decorations in them. So standard Christmas tree is done in advance and then each day she can add the pretty decorations, the individual decorations on knowing that the baubles and the lights are already there. Um, and that's our advent calendar. Her birthday, we got a Polaroid camera, her first birthday, and we do 20 Polaroids, which is two films, so 10, 10 images for film, we do 20 Polaroids over her birthday celebration, so her party, her actual birthday day, those kind of things, so we've got these 20 little memories. Now I'm already having to let go of some of my perfectionism with this because we lost at least one Polaroid in her first birthday party. We lost three at her second birthday party. So there's only gonna be 17 Polaroids of that. So I'm gonna to have to let go a little bit, but the tradition is that the camera comes out and it's now gone away. It's Felicity's birthday camera and it's gone away now because those films are so expensive, but it's a special little tradition and this lovely little memory. And I'm really looking forward to when she's 18 presenting her with a book of all these Polaroids. It's gonna be really fun too. One of the other big event traditions that we're trying to build in is the three present rule. Kids get so much stuff. Uh, we've set her up a just giving account and the plan is that she will help pick a charity each year that will be her like for people to give her birthday presents. They will donate to this charity on her just giving page and she'll have a record of it on her own direct just giving page and she'll get three sort of big main presents for birthday and for Christmas. Father Christmas is going to do a stocking separately, that is not included in this, but it might mean that one year the presents she wants are only £10 each, it might mean that one year she's going off to university and she needs like a three grand laptop or something, like it's just three gifts, there's no specific money budget as such, it's just three gifts. Um, and it's these kind of traditions that make there's a certain amount of structure already. I'm not having to overthink the big events, which can be really stressful. Christmas particularly, very, very stressful. But you've already got the structure in place of these traditions. They are reducing the decisions. This, this is what I like, is make the decisions, the big event decisions up front, and then each Christmas you're not having to overthink it. Each birthday you're not having to overthink it. I know that we've got a couple of these traditions every birthday that are going to happen, they're going to make it feel special and I don't have to overthink the situation. These not only make the event special but they also save me time and in some cases save me money too so win win win. 
You can also build small traditions or like little mini routines into everyday life that make your family unit special. So some of the great examples are like no work on Sundays, we both work for ourselves, so we keep those as work-free zones. We also do family dinner uh, six days a week. We have one couple dinner. That's again, another little family tradition. Felicity gets has dinner, not on her own. I don't believe her to eat it on her own, but she has dinner without us eating. And then we have a family, uh, like a couple's dinner of our own. So another little family tradition, but having those already in place makes the structure of our week so much easier because we both know that we stop work for family dinner. More often than not, we both go back to work after she's gone to bed, but that's the joy of flexible working for yourself. I also find with these small little family traditions that, that happen daily or weekly, even monthly, a push, they build in the sense of reassurance and security within a family environment. Again, these things help you save you time because they're providing a structure up front. You're not looking at your week every week as this blank slate and what do I do with it? Very few people thrive in that environment. Like science has proven that. This is not just me making a general assumption. Very few people thrive in that environment. Even people that tell me they have no structure and routine tend to have something in there like without realizing it, something that they kind of cling to. At the very basis, we brush our teeth when we get up and when we get to bed, like there's always something in there. Um, but yes, lots and lots of science and research has proven that we thrive in a routine and structured environment, kids particularly, because it gives them that sense of security. We all want to feel secure and safe. That's how we can express ourselves safely and how we can learn to process our feelings and emotions trying not to go into the parenting side of things here but it's something creating a safe space is something I definitely want to do for my daughter because it's something I don't really feel like I had so that's become very very important to me. I would love to hear what some of your family traditions are even big or small ones whether they're like once a year things maybe you have a tradition surrounding your holiday please pop them in the comments down below they might inspire us to add some more things into our lives or some of the other viewers as well. I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.